Hello everybody, welcome back to Kristen and Kirby. Today, it's not just going to be Kristen and Kirby. Today I'm gonna to be introducing you to my hermit crabs because as you have seen from the title of this video, I'm gonna be transferring them from their now 10 gallon tank to Kirby's old 40 gallon tank. So basically I have all of the supplies that I got for their new tank down here, as well as using some of the old stuff that they have in their old tank, like the vines and the food bowl and stuff like that. So first things first, I have to disinfect everything. So let's get started as I take you through me transferring their tanks. This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> Also, I finally got Kirby a big giant hide. He's currently in it this morning. He slept in it last night. It's so big. He can really fit his whole body in there. He's really enjoying it. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to figure out how to disinfect this. I think I'm gonna take it outside and use the hose to clean everything out and then I'm gonna use um, soap and water and stuff to really clean it. Right, so instead I decided to do it inside because I am in no way going to get this outside and then all the way back up the stairs into my room. So I'm just gonna do it all in here. Um, I'm gonna take the Zen mat out and just start from there and start disinfecting everything. So this is the cleaner that I'm gonna use for this. It's all natural and it's also non-toxic. And just to be really, really safe, I'm gonna be diluting it in water. So I'm not gonna spray it directly into the thing. I'm gonna be pouring some in water and then I'm gonna dip a paper towel in it and then um, clean it out that way. So there's a lot of just little bits and pieces of things. So before I wipe it out, I'm gonna use this mini dustpan that I use to clean Kirby's tank and I'm gonna uh, sweep some of that stuff out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pour the diluted uh, mixture that I made and I'm gonna pour a little bit in here and then use the paper towel to wipe some of it out. Now I have a normal water bottle, just um, regular water in a spray bottle and I'm just gonna spray it all over to rinse everything out. And I'm gonna do this a few times, like probably three times, just to really get all of the um, cleaning fluid and everything out of there. Okay, so now that everything is disinfected, I'm gonna go ahead and add the play sand and the eco earth that's over there. This is the play sand that I was recommended for people that I know that have hermit crabs. So I'm gonna add probably 50-50 of the sand and um, the coconut fiber eco earth. So what I'm gonna do is layer it. I'm gonna do sand, eco earth, sand, eco earth, and all the way up until it gets to about six inches. I have a ruler. And then, sorry, I'm out of breath. This is 50 pounds and I just carried it all the way upstairs. But anyway, so this has to be, their substrate has to be at least six inches deep. So I'm gonna do sand, eco earth, sand, eco earth, you know, in layers. And then I have to make it really wet. So I have um, a gallon of water there and I'm just gonna keep adding water to make it wet 
Um, and then if it's still not wet enough, I'm gonna keep adding more water and more water. You'll see as it goes on. All right, so as you can see, it is a messy job <laughs> with lots of materials that you have to buy. So I will actually, in the description down below, leave a list of all of the materials that I use and how many. So for this, I used about 24 quarts of Eco Earth. You might wanna get a 24 quart bag and then one more eight quart bag just to be sure. And then I used a five pound bag of play sand. Play sand. So, oh, once again, out of breath. <laughs> so yeah, now this is about six, seven inches. Let me just show you guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna add a little water. The sand that I got was already pretty moist but because I added the Eco Earth, now it kind of just falls apart. So that's not the consistency that you want. You want it to kind of form in your hand, not too much though, um, when you squeeze it. So you don't want it to be like dripping with water, but you definitely want it to be formed when you clench your hand. And it's not quite formed yet, so I think I'm gonna add um, some water bit by bit um, to get it to the consistency that I need it to be. Okay, so I think I finally have it at the consistency that I want. If you form it, and it stays like this, but not like dripping and not like, you know, anything too moist, then it's good. As you can see, it's a very messy job. <laughs> now that this is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and add the decorations. So first I'm gonna add the decor that's already in their tank and I'm gonna put it in this one. And then also I'm gonna disinfect all of the new things that I got them as well as some bigger shells that I'm gonna add and stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm going to bake this wood. I set the oven at 250 so it's ready. I'm going to put it in. It's not too hot. I can put my hand in there pretty safely. And I'm going to just sit here and watch it because you don't wanna leave it. And I'm gonna leave it in here for an hour. You don't wanna leave it unattended. So I'm going to sit right over there in my living room and make sure I keep an eye on it and leave it in for about an hour. One hour later. Hour has passed and this is out of the oven. I'm gonna let this cool out for a while and just sit out here. But while that happens, I will go ahead and decorate the rest of the enclosure. Let's go. Kirby, you've been in there all day. I know it's brand new and you really like it, but you have to come out into the heat eventually, dude.
Okay, so this is what I have so far. So we have the little station over here for their shells and everything. And then over here, I have like just a little piece of cork so they can climb on and the little hermit crab um, hide like a little baby one. And then here's another piece of wood that they can climb on. And then we have a hiding spot back there, a hiding spot under here as well. See, it, go it goes all the way back there. So all under there is a great hiding spot. I have this vine here and a little other branch. So I'm definitely going to be buying another one of these because they really like to hide. So I have a lot of hiding spaces, but they also really like to climb, which is why I have this thing. It's like a bridge technically, but I got it um, just for like a little thing for them to climb on. So definitely need more greenery. Um, and right now I'm going to clean out and replace all of the water in the salt water uh, bowl and the fresh water bowl. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so here we have some water. There's just tap water in this. This is the gallon that I used to refill um, with just tap water. Um, whenever I want to use it for the hermit crabs. So I use just tap water and then I use a water dechlorinator. Um, maybe I'll insert a clip right here of what it looks like. And it's just for fish tanks and I add a 10th of a teaspoon to one gallon since they want one teaspoon for 10 gallons because it's for fish tanks. So this is one gallon and I add a 10th of a teaspoon of that into this and then it dechlorinates the water for the hermit crabs. So this is their bowls that were in their tank, as you can see, they get very dirty, very fast. Um, yeah, that's pretty gross. So let's go ahead and clean these out and refill them. Also, I put these um, mesh things in the bowl so it is easier for the smaller one beans um, to climb out of. He uses this as like a bridge to get down into the water and come back up. This is just craft mesh that I got on Amazon. It's wire. They're, they also make like plastic ones, but I find that that one is um, harder to, you know, bend and maneuver. So I really recommend that if you are getting smaller hermit crabs so they can get in and out of the water bowls easily. This is the salt that I use to make the water into salt water. So I'm gonna pour the water into both of the bowls and then only in one of the bowls, I'm gonna stir in uh, a teaspoon of this salt. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the bridges. Basically what I do is fold it in half and then put one end into the dirt and one end into the water. Okay, so we've added everything except for the food bowl. So I'm gonna add the food bowl probably right here because that's where it was in their tank, in their old tank. So I don't want them to get too confused. So I basically put the water bowls in the same place that they always are and the food bowls in the same place that they always are because I don't want them to be too disoriented when I put them in here. So let's go put the food together. All right, so as you saw, what I put in there for them is an eggshell, some apple baby food, which is basically like applesauce, but it's organic and it's all natural with no added anything. 
and then I just cut up some spinach and also some butternut squash for them. Later tonight, I'm gonna add some river shrimp in there, just a couple pieces when I put them in the tank. It smells so All right, so I think the last thing that we have to add now is the heat pads on the sides. I'm gonna put them on this side and that side. So I'm gonna take off the paper um, wallpaper that's on the backs of each side and then stick on the heat pads. Okay, so now I added the thermometer and I also added the heating pad back here. This is, this is the one that I use. So I put one on this side and then when I take them out, I'm also gonna put it on this side. All right, so I moved their tank under Kirby's. I got some transfer tape from the person that I ordered his decal from. So I'll be soon transferring this up there. Might take those stickers off, but they're just so cute. I think I might just keep them there. So now all we have to do is wait for them to come out later and put them in there. I'm so excited many hours later in the night and I see a little Frank coming out to eat. So I will now take him and place him into the new tank. I'm so excited. I know he's going to immediately try to run away and probably go hide somewhere, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to put him right next to the food bowl because that's where he is right now. So let's take him. So he's in there. He didn't hide in his shell. He was basically out the whole time. I'm actually really surprised. And now maybe he'll sense the food and want to actually eat it. Also, my other hermit crab beans, I see is down there. You can kind of see his little legs down there. But I guess what's next is I gotta wait for him to come out and hope that he comes out. He's eating, yay! Which means he feels comfortable in there, so that's important. That's all I care about. I think right now he's breaking apart the eggshell that I put in there and he's eating it. Alright, great. Now we're just gonna have to wait for beans. He was really digging his body into these just now, so I guess we'll find out. One, but I got him out. He came out, and now we're gonna put him inside with Frank. Frank is back there in the tree. So I'm gonna put him in the same spot, right there, right next to where the food is. And yeah, he is a little baby, so it's probably gonna take him some time to come out tonight. Frank seems to be enjoying himself <laughs> in the vines. <laughs> Hermit crabs love to climb, so yeah, I'll definitely be getting more bees, but. <laughs> 